Government forces survey the wreckage of new attacks in northern Nigeria claimed by the radical Islamist group Boko Haram. The name means no to Western education and its self-proclaimed leader Abu Bakr Shekau appears often on the internet to threaten more attacks until Islamic Sharia law is imposed. He says he wants to create a better society in impoverished northern Nigeria. Government officials in Nigeria and neighboring countries suspect Boko Haram is linked to outside terrorist organizations such as Somalia's al-Shabaab extremists. In a recent United Nations report says Boko Haram may have access to caches of weapons left over from Libya's civil war. But Carl Levan, a Nigeria expert at American University in Washington, says a government crackdown backed by outside forces would be a mistake. A strategy that militarizes the conflict and reduces the opportunities for negotiations will in fact facilitate the internationalization of the conflict. In other words, um, it's not clear that there are significant ties to some of the more global violent Islamist movements at this point, but solutions and strategies which push Boko Haram towards more violence and which make offers of diplomacy seem less credible will certainly um, become a problem um, down the road. Levan says the radicals' grievances against widespread poverty and rampant government corruption are local, but that Boko Haram and government officials have an interest in making them seem much broader to gain attention and possible outside funding. Nigerian President Goodluck Jonathan, who is from the mostly Christian South, says he wants to open a dialogue with the northern Muslim radicals, but that he doubts their leaders would come forward. Boko Haram, yes, some of their leaders are known. It's not as if they, they, they don't know some of the leaders. They know that's why some of them have been arrested. But if you invite them, they will not come. So they, 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 they operate without a face. They operate without a clear identity. So it is difficult to interface. Religious leaders in Kano have been holding prayer services after some of the most deadly attacks. Civil society activists in Nigeria say they want the religious leaders and northern political leaders to play more of a role in possible negotiations to at least broker a ceasefire. Nico Columbus, VOA News, Washington.